we're going to build an Android app from the very beginning. We'll start with an empty project and end with something you can actually use and even publish to the Play Store. We're going to build a tip calculator where you can enter in a base amount, tip percentage, and the app will calculate the tip and total amount for you. We're going to build this app using the Kotlin programming language. So I'm going to assume you have some background in programming, but if you're new to Kotlin, I'll leave a link in the description to a quick 12-minute primer about the language I made. I'm Rahul. I've been teaching Android on YouTube and off YouTube for a while now. So when you're ready, let's get into it and build this app together. There are three things I want to cover in this video. Number one, I want to walk through the main features of the tip calculator application. Number two, I will explain the core Android concepts we'll cover while building it. And third, because I'm keeping the app deliberately very simple, I also want to call out some of the Android concepts that we won't encounter while building it. And those will be covered in more sophisticated or complicated Android apps later on. I mentioned earlier how you could actually go ahead and publish this app on the Google Play Store as soon as you finish the, finish the tutorial. And that's exactly what I did. So if you want to try out what we're going to build, then feel free to check out the link in the description um, and download it on one of your Android devices. So let's do a demo of the app so we can get a sense of the main features that we're going to build. So in this example, I went out for a very lavish solo dinner and I spent $83.15 and I'm leaving a pretty generous tip of 24%. And the app will automatically compute the tip and total amount. So just to make the math a little bit easier, why don't we update the base amount to be $100. And what you can see is the keyboard that comes up only allows us to input numbers and decimals, which makes sense because we're dealing with currencies here. Um, and if I'm feeling really happy with the service I received at the meal, I could increase the tip percentage and bring it to the maximum amount to 30%. And two things happen here. One is that we dynamically update the tip and total amount computation. So 30 and the sum is 130. But also we update the description of that tip percentage. So it went from great to amazing and also became this brighter green color. On the other hand, if I was really unhappy with the service, I might tip zero and we consider that a poor tip. <laughs> um, and you can see how the color got updated to this red color. And then at the bottom here in the footer, we also have a way to personalize the app. So you can say who, you, who made it or where you're from. The concepts we cover in the tip calculator are the same concepts that are fundamental to every Android app. First is creating the UI. Every app needs a user interface. And the core component we'll leverage here is the constraint layout, which will contain the other widgets, for example, the text view or the seek bar to enter in the tip percentage. Second, every interesting Android app is going to listen and react to user input. So we have two ways of inputting data in our app. One is entering in the base amount, and second is the tip percentage. And based on that, we need to react and update the UI appropriately. And third, we will barely scratch the surface of styling and animation on Android. I'll show you how to update some of the colors and also show you how to do an animation with the tip description um, and change its color dynamically. There's also a lot that we're not going to cover in the tip calculator, and that's important in order to reduce scope and make this app really quick and simple to, uh, to build if you're new to Android. First, we're not going to have multiple screens, um, which means that we don't have to deal with things like navigation or the back stack in Android. And in fact, the single screen that we do have is actually quite simple because we don't have um, any kind of list data that we need to manage. Second, we have nothing to do with networking and the internet. As soon as you start talking to an API or a server, things become quite a bit more complicated because you have to deal with asynchronous programming and managing that data. And third, we're also not dealing at all with storage. Everything will be local and in memory. So we're not going to write to a database or to disk or to the cloud anywhere. And all three of these make the app much simpler uh, to build. So I'm sure when you build this and you walk into a restaurant, you're going to be super popular because you'll be able to compute the tip really easily and literally your name will be on the app. So I will see you in the next video.